New client. Hi. Hi, Chanello. Welcome. Come Thank on in. Thank you. Would you like a hug? Uh, yes, that would be nice. I'm so glad you made it. I'm so Thank glad you're you. here. Thank you. It's really beautiful out here. Thank you. Welcome to my space. We've got the restroom right over there. I'll ask you to oh, take yeah. your shoes off here, and then we'll go into the cuddle space, if that's okay with you. Yeah, sure. Great. Great. Now that we're settled, I'm curious, how's the lighting for you, and would you like any music today? Uh, uh, the lighting is fine, thank you for asking, and uh, I would prefer not to have, I was listening to music in the car on my way here, so I'm, I'm fine with silence. Fantastic. I have set an alarm on my phone that will go off when we've got about 10 minutes left in the session. That gives us a little bit of a transition uh, where we don't have to jump right up and we can both lose track of time if we want to. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, okay. Okay. Do you want any different timing on that? No, 10 minutes is fine. Great. I want to go over a couple of things with you, including our opening agreement. You've already agreed to the code of conduct. Um, did you have any any questions or any favorite pieces of the code of conduct? Uh, yes, I've, I've gone over the code of conduct. And uh, what I like especially is the, the emphasis on the client-led part. It, it's challenging because it really forces me to not be passive and just be an active uh, participant in my own pleasure. So uh, I'm excited about that and also a little bit nervous. Great, great, thank you. I also love that. It's one of my favorite pieces too, that this is really about you and empowering you and nurturing you and caring for you. And I'm so excited to do that. And I want to let you know that within that space, I promise I'm not going to do anything I don't want to do. So I'll speak up or move if I'm uncomfortable, like if my shoulder's falling asleep or just I need to shift for some reason. I'll take care of myself and you don't have to caretake me. How does that sound? That sounds really good. Awesome. And I also would like you to um, make the same agreement that you'll speak up or move if you're uncomfortable, that you won't tolerate anything while you're here. Oh boy, that's hard. But okay, I, I, I will do the same. Great, great. And I'm, that is challenging. I'm going to even ask you to take it a step further. And will you do your best to notice what you want and to orient towards doing what you want rather than just kind of going along with what's okay? Yes, I will. Excellent. High five. Okay. Um, then the next piece is how would you like to begin? Oh, well, I, uh, I don't know. What do most people usually do? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. And I'm really curious about what you would like to do, what, what your body might like right now. Oh, that's a question. I, I don't really know. Great. We can take it like one piece at a time. And it's not weird that you don't know. Lots of people don't actually know what they want. Our culture doesn't really encourage people to notice what they want and ask for it. So, but this is a different space that you get to learn that. Um, would you like to stay seated like we are? Would you like to stand up? Would you like to lie down? And just take a moment and ask your body. Being seated is fine, so I will stay seated. But I'm also a little bit worried that my request might be weird or mm -hmm. a little bit shy about what you might think of what I would ask. <laughs> thank you so much for sharing that with me. That's a really vulnerable thing to let me know, so thank you. and. I'm, I'm gonna ask you to remember back to the opening agreement where I am so, like, I just really hear this. I'm so excited to be here for you, with you, nurturing, caring for you, and I promise I won't do anything. I am not just a heartfelt yes to doing with you. So okay. why don't you try asking, if you've got something in mind, try asking for it. Let's see how it goes. Oh, well, I, I was kind of thinking like to, to, to start slowly or gently but I got, I got a, a, a an image in my mind to uh, put my head on your lap would that be something that 
you would be willing to do? I'd be delighted to have your head on my lap. Would you like to keep your glasses on or take them off? Oh, I would take them off. Great, there's a little table over there you can set them on. Thank you. And do you think you'd like a pillow on my lap or yes, do you want to just be on my leg? Okay. Sometimes that has more to do with um, the height of your shoulders and all uh, than anything else. Okay. But come on over. So if you'd I like. Just, okay. You could even just like put your hands on there first and be like, oh, that's okay. Yeah, I, I think it's okay. Yeah. Now, my, you can stay just like this, but also, would you like my hand on your back or your head? Uh, on my shoulder would be nice. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's not as weird as I thought it would be. Yeah, it actually, um, it's not. Not at all, it's very good. And you're doing great. Yes, it is. Would you like moving touch? Do you like the stillness? Uh, well, maybe if you would rub my shoulder a little bit. Is that what you had in mind? Yes. Great. I've got this other hand over here. It can stay off to the side, or I could hold your hand, or put a hand on your head. It's probably about what I can reach. Well, I, I can't think of anything more now, so I, okay, I'll, I'll just, just leave it like this. this. Yeah. Now speaking to you on the screen here, I'll say we would continue like this for the rest of the session. I would check in with her, ask her, if she wants to adjust, adjust if I need to, if any boundaries get pushed, gently correct, and allow that to continue until my alarm goes off, which is about 10 minutes before the end of the session for most clients. So we're gonna jump right to that, and it's actually really soft chimes or music um, tend to go really well in a session. So, so that was the alarm? Yeah, I was just about to say that was our that was our ten minute alarm. Oh, so we've got God. we've got ten minutes time left flies. in the session. It really does fly. Wow. No. Um, but it's not time to jump up just yet. Mm. We've got ten more minutes and you can stay doing what you're doing. We could shift to another position. We could Yeah, just what would you like to do for a couple more minutes? Then we'll probably mm. sit up together just before we end. I think it I hate to get up, but I, I think it would be wise to uh, to slowly uh, <laughs> get myself ready. Great. Go ahead and follow yeah. that mm. lead, that intuition that you have. Mm. Oh, that was good. Yeah, and it looks like you kind of looks like you were gonna stretch anyway. So maybe we take a little stretch break together. Oh yes. Mm. Oh. That okay. was good. Awesome. I really enjoyed cuddling with you too. And I want to let you know that there are all sorts of hormones and neurotransmitters going through your system right now. Like your, your body produces some pretty good natural highs. Yeah, I know this. Yeah. <laughs> Oxytocin is one of them and uh, can promote some, some feelings of bonding and closeness and almost like you're going through the world with rose colored glasses on. Um, but also, Cortisol uh, can be a little lower right now, like the stress hormone. So like your reaction times might be a little slower while driving. So be careful while driving. Be gentle with yourself. Like what, what helps you feel good? Um, like water, a walk, a bubble bath? Like what are some things that help you feel good? I walk, I love walking. Great, so maybe could you find time for a walk this afternoon? Well, I think after dinner I will, yes. Great. Some nice self-care things like that can be really helpful to just give you a little space. There might be some insights or some emotions that come up after the session. And giving yourself some room to feel those can be great. Okay. I feel very rested. I'm so glad. A lot of times people are people feel pretty good uh, right at the end of the session. Every once in a while there's like a cuddle drop where oh. all those hormones and neurotransmitters kind of flush out of your system and then you're like, oh. Maybe you feel kind of low or just a little empty. Um, mm. 
if that happens, know you're not weird. And also you're welcome to reach out to me and I'll talk you through it and, and help, but it's, it's really, it's okay. Okay, and when will you reach out to me? Uh... Yeah, thanks for asking. I've, I'd like to follow up in a day or two. And that would be great. I'll just send you a text, ask how you're doing. You could respond by the text or we can have a phone call and we can chat about how you're oh, doing. Oh, that's very thoughtful. Yeah, because yeah. I've, this is, it feels easy and yet it can be pretty big personal growth work. So I want to let you know that I'm there for you and, and see how you're doing afterwards. Okay, great. Excellent. So let's go ahead and um, gather up our shoes and move towards our stuff and um, you, I think you were going to Venmo me today? Yes. Perfect. So let's yes. handle that then I'll too. I'll do that downstairs. Perfect. Sounds great. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm.